If you grew up idolizing Detective Sherlock Holmes, this exhibit is for you. The Sherlock Holmes ex exhibition at the Pacific Science Center in Seattle allows you to get this, solve your very own murder mystery. This exhibit brings Sherlock Holmes detective work to life with a mixture of interactive activities and 314 artifacts. The exhibit will be in Seattle until January 8th. Aaron. Yeah, Kyle, that's right. This grain elevator right behind me could be filled with not grain, but recreational marijuana products in the nearby future. The Liquor and Cannabis Board is currently reviewing two applications to turn this building into two separate pot dispensaries. Today I had the chance to sit down with Pete Dickinson, the city planning director, and he told me more about what could be Pullman's fourth and fifth recreational marijuana dispensaries. Now the adoption period will take place here at the Umpqua Bank in Moscow between the hours of 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. on Friday. The shelter plans on bringing down several kittens and a dog or two, hoping to gauge interest of those looking for a new pet. If you're hoping to find a feline companion, you're in luck because the price to adopt a cat is slashed in half. Typically, the fee is $90, but on Friday, between those two hours, it will be $45. Wrigleyville all set and ready for Game 5, trying to win one game at home before the series shifts to Cleveland. So check out this defensive play by Chris Bryant as he flashes the leather to rob Brandon Geyer of a base hit there. They don't call it the hot corner for nothing. Take a look at this in slow-mo. It wouldn't be Bryant's only highlight of the day as he's able to snag the ball, throw across, and a nice pick at first base by Anthony Rizzo. It's been another wet and windy weekend over the Palouse. If we look at the weather right now, 48 outside sitting comfortably. The high today was 51, several degrees below the seasonal average, so a bit on the cooler side. The hole Washington State dug themselves into was too deep to climb out of. Well, there's a lot of anticipation heading into this year's rendition of the Apple Cup, but so far it's been all Washington. Now, Washington State has squandered several opportunities at the goal line, two fourth and goal situations that have been turned over on downs. So it looks like for another year, the state bragging rights will be held in Seattle. What brings you back to Chiefs games? I enjoy the young talent and the, all the kids coming up every year just to see them play. And it's, and it's a fun game. It's exciting. Do you have a favorite memory uh, throughout your Chiefs fandom in particular that stands out? Probably winning both of the Memorial Cups. Saturday Night Live has been a satirical staple on television for over 40 years now. Known for their political content during election years, it is no surprise that they are going to take on Trump and Clinton this week. Reporter Jeannie Mose has the last laugh with SNL. Current Golden State Warrior Clay Thompson went bananas last night against the Indiana Pacers. Thompson scored a career-high 60 points last night and didn't even step onto the court in the fourth quarter. He went 21 for 33 from the floor and hit eight three-pointers, as you see right now. Thompson is the first player in the modern era to score 60 points with fewer than 30 minutes played low to mid 50s throughout the week along with uh, low to mid 40s. So that's all I have for you here in the Weather Center. It should be a mild rest of the week and it's staying dry, which uh, for us students is usually good news. Coming up on the other side of the break, not even a drone could upend the Cleveland Indians from taking a commanding 3-0 ALCS lead. Now if you're ever walking through campus late at night or anywhere in the Pullman community and feel unsafe, pull out your phone and call WSU-267-SAFE. That's WSU-267-SAFE and a driver from Women's Transit will come and pick you up and drop you off at any location within city limits as long as it's a non-commercialized location.